Welcome to the Tax Lien Training Series brought to you by Tax Lien Investor Secrets. I, I'm Shade Frey with Tax Cell Solutions and this is Session 3. The focus of today's session will be on the several bidding methods that are used in uh, county auctions across the country. Now these bidding methods will be important for you to know and understand if you're going to be attending live auctions. Uh, there are some online auctions now that use uh, bidding methods or systems that might be similar to these, uh, but these are the primary bidding methods that counties uh, anywhere in the country will use. Now the very first method is the bidding down uh, the interest rate strategy or method. Uh, this is fairly common, and uh, you'll find this in uh, in states such as Arizona and Florida, areas that are popular with uh, with tax lien investors. Now, it has uh, it has its advantages and it has its dis uh, its disadvantages. Uh, the overall idea is that the bidder that's willing to accept the lowest uh, accrued interest rate is the one that's awarded the lien. Now, the way that would work is in state law, uh, they will have a maximum rate of return allowed by, uh, by the state identified. Uh, in, in Florida, that maximum rate of return is 18%. Uh, what that means is that the bidding will begin at 18%, but the individual that is willing to accept the lowest uh, rate of return is the bidder that wins. Now, uh, Obviously, there are disadvantages to this system uh, in that you're lowering the overall rate of return that you're going to make. Uh, the advantage of a system like this is that you're not paying an overbid. Uh, in other words, you're not paying anything over what the amount of the tax lien, along with any penalties or fees that are attached to it, uh, uh, is for. So in other words, the tax lien amount is the amount that you're paying. What's changing is the amount of money that you're going to make on that actual uh, on that actual property. Now there are some things to consider with uh, a bidding down the interest rate system. One thing to consider is that the rate of return uh, the return changes significantly with every single bid. Uh, in other words, uh, if you are traveling to a sale. Uh, to purchase tax liens, there's a big difference between making a 16% rate of return and making a 12% rate of return. Uh, it's important that, uh, that as you go to attend an auction that utilizes a system like this, that you know exactly what your bottom dollar bid is going to be. In other words, you need to know what the lowest uh, acceptable interest rate is that you're willing to accept uh, before you walk away. Now, one thing to consider uh, as well, and, uh, and that this can actually be a very positive thing for you in states that utilize uh, a bidding down the interest rate, is what's called an early redemption penalty. Uh, now, Florida is a popular state for tax lien investors to uh, invest in because they offer an early redemption penalty. Uh, now, what this means is, uh, let's, let's play out an example here. Let's say that you happen to invest in a state that pays uh, an 18% rate of return. Well, that sounds like a great rate of return. Uh, however, that's based on an annual uh, rate. So, uh, you're really looking at 1.5% accruing every month for 12 months in order to reach the 18%. So let's see, uh, let's say that the property owner decides to pay back those delinquent taxes after a month. Well, after all of the effort that you've gone through, it's hardly worth uh, your time to make a 1.5% rate of return on your money. Uh, the reason why an early redemption penalty is, uh, is, is a real advantage to a tax lien investor is because it guarantees you uh, a flat rate of return on top of whatever it is that you've earned up to that point for any liens that redeem within the first year. So in Florida, uh, to give you an example, Florida's uh, early redemption penalty is 5%. Now that's a considerable amount of money uh, 
and it's actually a, a high enough amount to attract a lot of investors and also it's a high enough amount to attract a lot of investors and to get them to bid down uh, the interest rate uh, to extremely low amounts. There are financial uh, institutional bidders there that will uh, bid down properties on a regular basis to a quarter of a percent. Uh, now that might not make a lot of sense to the majority of the investors out there, uh, but if they know that the property is going to redeem within that first year, uh, and they're going to make 5% flat on their money. Well, if uh, if that property were to redeem in, let's say, the first two or three months, and they were to make uh, the 5% flat on their money, plus uh, maybe another percent or so, uh, just based on uh, what they had earned, a 6% overall return in three months is actually a pretty good rate of return uh, when you consider what most financial institutions are paying out. If you can make 6% in three months, that's the equivalent of making about 24% on an annual basis. And the way we come to that number is by taking uh, that 6% uh, per, uh, over three months and uh, seeing what your rate of return would be if you could duplicate that process for the remaining nine months of the year. And that's where we come up with the 24% uh, uh, overall rate of return. Premium bidding is probably the most common uh, bidding system that most people are aware of. Uh, it's very simple. A tax lien is bid up in price until a high bid is established. So certificates are awarded to the investor that bids the highest amount above the minimum bid or the starting bid. Now the minimum or starting bid is going to be the uh, total amount of all of the delinquent taxes along with any interest, uh, penalties, and fees that's where the bidding is going to begin. Uh, the amount that's bid up above that amount is, uh, is known as the overbid or the surplus. Uh, it's important to know that many counties only pay interest on the minimum bid, so that can, dr uh, that can dramatically affect your overall investment. Uh, if you have a $1,000 lien that's paying out uh, an 18% rate of return, uh, if you were to bid that same lien up to two thousand dollars let's say the county that you're working in uh, does not pay interest on the overbid only for the initial amount well because you paid two thousand dollars for a one thousand dollar lien uh, your actual rate of return went from eighteen percent and was actually cut in half down to nine percent because you're not making any return at all on half of your money. So that's something uh, that's important to consider there uh, with any premium bidding system. Uh, what you need to go into these auctions prepared with is to know exactly what the minimum rate of return is that you're willing to accept uh, on a specific lien. Uh, now you also need to know uh, what your rate of return is based on uh, what your maximum bid can be. So in other words, uh, you can't just say, well, I'm willing to accept a 14% rate of return because you need to have that math done up uh, beforehand to know exactly uh, what your maximum bid would be in order to achieve uh, that, that, uh, that rate of return that you're interested in. Now, another thing that's important to realize is that the over uh, the overbid can have a dramatic effect on the investment. We talked a little bit about that. Uh, the the bigger the amount you pay over what the actual uh, tax lien is, uh, the lower your overall rate of return is going to be. However, uh, there are some counties in the U.S. that will actually pay. Uh, the the interest the same on the overbid as they would for the uh, for the standard or starting bid. Now, if this is the case, then it doesn't really matter what the property's bid up to. If you're making a good solid rate uh, rate of return, if you're making an 18% rate of return, then it doesn't really matter if you pay double for uh, for a particular lien. If you're sure that the lien is going to uh, redeem, if it's been placed against a property that has value, then you stand a good chance of it redeeming because that property owner's probably not going to let the property go to foreclosure due to uh, a fairly small percentage of, uh, of property taxes that are that are owed at the time. 